So it's official. We've got a price. We've got a release date for the PS5. But good luck getting your hands on one. They're already sold out at Walmart. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we cover PlayStation exclusives such as the Ghost of Tsushima. So we were surprised to see Final Fantasy 16 as a console exclusive on the PlayStation right off the bat at the start of their presentation. And after we got through all the games, such as a really interesting Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy, they gave us the prices, and they matched the price of the Xbox Series X at $4.99 for the disc version and $3.99 for the PS5 discless version. But they never told us where we would buy them and when we could start buying them. Now, we can pick them up if we have the pre-order on November 12th in the U.S. and other select countries and November 19th in other locations. But can you actually buy one? Because Walmart sold out digitally hours after the release. GameStop has been taking pre-orders in person only, although they have an online form. But I think if you're on the online form like I am, GameStop's not going to call you back. So I'm on the Walmart wait list. I'm on the Best Buy wait list. I'm on the Target. Well, actually, Target, I don't think, had a list. Sony had a list going up. I don't know if I signed up for it or not, but they've stopped it now. They're not taking any more email addresses, as far as I can tell. And Sony sent out this cryptic tweet on their official Twitter saying that it goes on sale at select retailers tomorrow without saying, you know, what time tomorrow, what time zone they are talking about tomorrow. Who knows? Is it Japan time? Is it East Coast U.S. time? Is it East? Is it Pacific time U.S.? Who knows? Maybe Sony doesn't know. And they also didn't say who select retailers are. I'm sure Sony must know who the select retailers are. IGN uh, has been guessing that it's Amazon, who's took down their Sony PlayStation page. Walmart, who's sold out. Target, who's not taking any orders yet. GameStop, who's taking pre-orders in person. I'm not sure of the wisdom of that policy, given what's happening in the world. Between the time I started recording this and now, Target did go live and they sold out of both the digital only and the disc versions of the PS5, which are going for $3.99 and $4.99. So my guess is that if you think you're going to get it on the November 12th, I think you're wrong. Now, there's, I think there's a great chance that you'll be able to get a PS5 before Christmas. But on November 12th, uh, a little iffy. This is my take. I think the PS5 is the better thing to get versus the Xbox Series X. Uh, I think it's going to sell way more than the Xbox Series X. Uh, there's arguments for which one's more powerful and will process games better. But, you know, the thing that Sony led with in their presentation, and it's the obvious thing to, I think, everybody, is that uh, the PS5 has exclusive games. Xbox does not. And so you're buying a machine with the Xbox, but you're buying access to the best games with the PS5 in addition to a machine. And if they're priced the same, it's really no contest. But you can get the Xbox a couple days before the PS5. The PS5 is going to launch November 12th, and the Xbox Series X and S will launch on November 10th. Plus, you could get the, the Series S, which is less powerful than both the X and the PS5, the Xbox Series S. It does price it $299, so in that sense, it's pretty cheap, and it just has kind of a small hard drive, and it has about half the power in some metrics of the Xbox Series X, but it is a big step up uh, from a PS4 or an Xbox Series One. I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe 